Security in New York City has been tight for this week's U.N. meeting, but the New York police are always on alert for a possible terrorist attack. And for a 60 Minutes broadcast, we asked Commissioner Ray Kelly to show us what they're doing to keep the city safe. We're the number one target in this country. That's the consensus of the intelligence community. We've had 13 terrorist plots against the city since uh, September 11th. No other city ha has had that. The vice in! Go, go. Kelly gave Police us an down. extraordinary look inside the Counterterrorism Bureau. The training, get down, get down. like this assault team practicing for a hostage situation in a subway car, and the astounding technology that has been designed and built specifically for the NYPD. We started with the threat that no one wants to imagine, a nuclear device smuggled into the city. Out on the East River, we went along on an NYPD boat that was designed by one of the federal government's nuclear laboratories. Within the boat itself, we have permanently mounted and installed radiological and nuclear detectors. And the good news is that the detection equipment is very sophisticated and it is very sensitive. Beyond the water, Kelly has radiation detectors circling the city in helicopters, in trucks down on the street, and thousands of cops have automatic nuclear detectors on their gun belts. The technology is so sensitive, Inspector Mike Riggio told us they often stop pleasure boats for a reason that we found amazing. We pull up alongside the boat, we'd interview, and that lets us find out that, hey, this person may have just had some type of medical procedure. People who had medical radiation treatments trigger the detectors. So you like your chances of detecting a dirty bomb or a nuclear device? Well, we do, we do. Kelly has spent $3 billion on his counterterrorism unit, and Sunday on 60 Minutes will show you more of the amazing technologies.